So you're thinking about moving here to the Destin Fort Walton Beach area and you're considering moving to Mary Esther. Well, in this video, we're gonna go over the seven things you must know before moving to Mary Esther, Florida. So you'll wanna stick around to the end because number seven might make or break your decision. So stay tuned. Yeah. What's up everybody? This is Tim Whittemore with the Whittemore Group right here in the Destin Fort Walton Beach area. If this is your first time to our channel, we do tons and tons of videos about everything you need to know about our area. As a military veteran of 14 years and now a military spouse, I've moved tons of times. And every time I moved somewhere, there was always such a lack of information about the areas we were moving to, and maybe I didn't move to the best place. Thus, why I created this channel for you, so that you can make the best decision possible when moving to our area. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button, click that little bell, so you're notified every single time we got a new video coming out. Honestly, we get tons of phone calls, emails, and texts from people that are moving to this area and need some help, and we absolutely love it. So if you are moving to this area and you have some questions or if you need some help, feel free to give us a call, text, email, send us a little paper airplane, <laughs> whatever you need to do. We got your back when moving to our area. So let's talk about Mary Esther. Mary Esther is a small town that is just west of Fort Walton Beach city limits. Still part of Fort Walton Beach proper, but it is part of that. It is actually encompassed around where Hur Hurlburt Field is and all the way out to the county line. It's got a population of about 4,251 people. So not that big. So let's get into our seven things. Let's start with number one is well, the traffic, Ugh, the traffic. Uh, so because of its proximity and because Highway 98 goes right through there and the base and its proximity, there's not a lot of alternative routes to get in and out of Mary Esther, depending on where you're at. So when Herbert Field gets out around 3 to 7 p.m., Plus during the tourist season, you know, in the summer and spring, traffic can get pretty hectic and locked up. And if there's an accident somewhere around that road, it could really just come to almost a dead stop. Now, good news is, is that if you live in Mary Esther, that means that that drive that you may be sitting in forever, you don't have to go all the way into Navarre or Gulf Breeze where you're gonna be sitting in that traffic for 45 minutes to an hour. For you, a normal five minute drive may only be 15 minutes. So that's one advantageous thing that you can look forward to while being part in Mary Esther. Let's talk about number two, which is the access to Hurlburt Field. Hurlburt Field's actually right in Mary Esther, so you can't miss it. It's actually got two different gates to be able to get you in there, but the one that most people use is the South Gate, or the Main Gate, as people call that. Now, when you get there, you can have direct access into the main part of base. Uh, another great thing is in, if you don't go left, or go north, rather, onto the base, you also have the access to go south to the sound side of the gate. That's where you've got the NWR uh, beach access there, you can have a boat launch. Uh, all those things are available through the base where you can still be there and have your own fun beach day within three to five minutes of your house. Which leads me to our next one is the great location for beaches. Yeah, actually because of where it is located to get down and to get to the golf side to all those great beaches, uh, you're only about 15 to 20 minutes either direction to either Navarre Beach or Okaloosa Island or Fort Walton Beach, whatever you want to call it. Uh, when you do that, if you go up to Navarre, it's actually been voted as one of the most peaceful beaches in the entire state of Florida. So if that's the sort of atmosphere you want to go check out, it's right there down the road. And of course, Okaloosa Island, where they actually have a little boardwalk and there's a lot of stuff to do. People out there enjoying delicious libations and just having a great time. You can also go down to the busier beach on Okaloosa Island. So just great area there. 
So next, what we're going to talk about, and since this is a real estate channel, is the fantastic housing prices that you have in Mary Esther. It is actually your best bang for the buck in Fort Walton Beach proper. So your median house price in this area is around $245,000 which isn't really too bad, depending on what you're getting, which are a little bit larger houses with bigger lots, and it's not quite as eclectic as you typically would get in Fort Walton, but it still is. Come on, it's the Emerald Coast. <laughs> uh, but that goes as low as 85,000, probably not your move-in ready, probably a rehab project, all the way up to 826,000, which is your nice house that's sitting there on the intercoastal waterway. That's kind of your range there if you're considering Considering renting, know that the rent's probably going to be more of a single family home. There's a couple of attached uh, townhomes in there as well, but your rent's going to be around uh, $1,055 per month, depending on what you're looking at. All right, the next that we do have for you is these houses, when you do get there, if you do decide to purchase, well, they don't require flood insurance. A majority of these places aren't because a good portion of Mary Esther is actually in zone X, which means it's a minimal flood hazard area so you can be rest assured even though that you're close to the water that you don't actually have to carry the hefty price of having required flood insurance for your house now I'm not going to say that uh, you shouldn't have it as an option but it is there for you all right and we're almost here to the end but the next one that we have number six is the public schools great public schools they're rated A for this area the elementary schools are Edwin, Mary Esther, Florosa, and everybody around says that they love these different schools. As you are in Mary Esther, you will have the kiddos go to middle school and high school all in the Fort Walton Beach area, which that middle school is Bruner. And of course, it's Fort Walton Beach High School is where they'll be going as well. All right, that leads us to number seven, which is that Mary Esther is a small quiet beach town with just very very friendly people so when you get home and if you need some help with something people are just very very kind and they're always out to lend a hand you'll see a good portion of this community just kind of walking around and just <laughs> random people waving at you if you haven't lived in the south that's just something you'll get used to just open uh, atmosphere here in mary esther so that's something that you could definitely look forward to when you move to this area so that's all I have for you. If you live in Mary Esther and there's something you really enjoyed about this area, make sure to go ahead and leave it in the comments below. If you're moving here, you have some questions about anything I talked about, again, you can leave them here in the comments below. I'd be happy to respond for, to you. If you are considering moving to Mary Esther or any of the surrounding areas and you need some help, again, you can reach out to us at any time. Give us a call, give us a text email us and we'll be happy to reach back out to you to help you out in your future endeavors and get you uh, the place that you're looking for. So again, I'm Tim Whittemore with the Whittemore Group here at eXp Realty and we'll see you in our next video. Take care.